been months. I know I haven't made games like I said I was. Uh, is my oh, there's some chat audio. I don't think there's any chat. Um, I think I'm a jig. Okay, we're back. Um, back after months. Um, Lawbreakers. I know everybody been seeing this game on the YouTube and uh, the internet and stuff like that. It's an amazing game. Often gets compared to Overwatch because uh, Arena Shooter. It's been out on beta for like a couple weeks. Well, not a couple weeks, a couple days. Oh, um, my father played one match. It's a good. It's good. It's like playing Paragon with uh, a a a team based shooter implemented. It's that's how it looks. It's how it feels. It's like literally like playing Paragon. Uh, the the I think the one guy was what, what he what the uh, developer or the head guy in charge was like a part of Gears or something or something like that. I forgot his name. Let me look it up. Um, there we go. It, um, Cliff Pusinski, yeah, Cliff Pusinski. Um, where was he from? He did. Yeah, gears and Unreal Tournament, Bullet Storm and all that. You can see the the Bullet Storm and in, in this game and gear. It's not so much. It doesn't really lean towards gears, but it's yeah, it's a good game nonetheless. Um, one thing I will say, like I said, it's a five v five shooter. You basically the top the top half is one team, bottom half is another team. So generally, you really only have to pick from eight characters uh, for one team. It's five v five, so three people is not going to get used. It's like uh, it's kind of sucks because bayonet players have alts and all of this and powers. It's like it kind of limits what you do in the future without replicating another game or like replicating uh, replicating another game. Or you know, replicating abilities. That's that's the only thing I kind of say I hate about this. It's like I don't see really any room for improvement. I'm glad they got 16 uh, champions. I don't know, call them champions. I'm gonna call them champions. Uh, I'm glad they got 16. That's good. That's real good. But at the same time, you really can't really add no more. There's not really no room for improvement. Now, one thing I say about this: a lot of shotgun, a lot of knives, a lot of melees, a lot of shotguns and heavy assault and assaults uh there's no smgs uh which is crazy there's a machine pistol which is wraith but there is no smgs there's and with the machine pistol it's like you use it with it using with a tactical knife so you really can't aim down sight with it which is crazy i don't i'm so used to playing you know call of duty battlefields all that other shooters planet side and all those games and Division, all the, all those games like that, Tom Clancy games and stuff. It's like I'm so used to aiming down sight. Not aiming down sight feels weird. Like it, it just feels really weird. But yeah, this is a good game, man. You probably see all these people, all these uh game plays on YouTube by people. I said, like I said, it gets compared to Overwatch a lot. It looks better than Overwatch. Uh, cause more, it's just more basically realistic texture. I don't say realistic. And yeah, basically more realistic instead of more, not that cartoon anime ish style. Um, like I said, there's really nothing wrong with this game. I'm not really for camos. I don't really give a crap about camos on guns. That doesn't make me play better. Uh, like this got each character got a, a set of skins. Like her skin is gonna be hard to get. I'm guessing. That's cool. She kind of looks like something out of, uh, like Mass Effect or, uh, Warframe or something on Planet. I said one of them PlayStation style games, but she, uh, it's not really customizable. I wish it was more customizable. Um, but other than that, it's like, wow, she has a lot of weapon stickers. Are they all, are they all the same weapon sticker or are they like, Shoot, this crap is not even loading. There's a lot of them. I'm not even gonna go with the wrong. Kick decals. Basically, you like kick a person. I guess it like like hollows, uh, like holographically. 
holographic where it like it showed a footprint or something on them. I don't know. Kind of gimmicky. You don't really need to add that in the game. And being that it's only online only, put like this: online only games can pretty much have good graphics. Uh, that's all. So online only games got pretty good graphics. Um, yeah, they got pretty good graphics depending on the style of art you go for. Um, what else I want to say? I said this is not bad. Like I said it's like Paragon with, with shooters. Honestly, if the, like I said, Paragon had a team-based arena mode. I don't even know when. <coughs> crap. I don't even know when Paragon's going to fully release as a game and not be in beta. Because I wonder, I wonder if they're working on Matt. It's kind of weird. Is they're still feeding us a lot of champions and uh, heroes and stuff and then Paragon but it's just like we're stuck on one map or stuck on one mode it's just like you know so y'all update it and take that map out it's like you know it's, it's esports worthy but yeah but so with this game this game could be but you have to compete with the likes of Unreal Tournament and uh, Quake which those games, they, it kind of look like this. Uh, their map designs, I'm not even sure how big they are. But they're bigger than this, I want to say. Because with this, it's like, it's like a MOBA map. But it's also like, it's like a one laner. So you don't really have that much, leave like much room to move around. You'll notice all the fights happen on one side of the map. Versus the other, depending on the objective. Um, actually, I do I do like regular arena TDM modes. It's good. Um, they should have just had regular TDM modes. But yeah, like I said, this is a good game. Um, yeah, like all I would play, all I'm going to be playing this summer is this Madden Paragon. Minecraft, Modern Warfare, Remastered, Infinite Warfare, maybe, Killing Floor 2, Rocket League, some Street Fighter, Warframe. I do want to get back to my Warframe. I just got to get uh, some Platinum so I can get some stuff. If anybody has, you know, stuff like that, feel free to uh, share. But uh, yeah, this is it's a good game, but it's just, at first I thought it was like, you know how like, other team based shooters are like Paladins and Paladins and Overwatch and what's another game like uh Battleborn can't even name the other ones but just those are the main three I guess you can kind of say but like with those you couldn't pick the same character with this you can pick the same character which is good but it's also like well, no, nah, Overwatch, you can pick the same character. You can pick the same character. I don't know about Paladins. I think it's... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I think Overwatch, you can pick... Everybody can pick the same character. I think it's just some... I don't know if it's like some moves or whatever. But, yeah, I, I, it's, it's good that they don't... Uh, they don't uh, deny you that. I find that'd be good because... You will see a lot of... Axles. No, no, no. Like they, I don't even know how to put it. They, like each person has different abilities. Each law has different abilities from breakers. And I kind of find that weird. I want to say, I'm not, I don't know if I'm wrong or not. Let me check. I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure if law have different uh, abilities than breakers. Let me, let me go check right now. I don't I don't know if law and uh, breakers have different um that's all, that's all I wanted to also I wanted to know do developers make games on Nvidia what well, not nah, they make games on they had a PS4 dev kit I think the PS4 dev kit is only just to see where you can test your game at and etc they don't really make it on well I was, I was wondering like do they make games? Do developers make games on NVIDIA, like GPUs and like maybe like Intel CPUs and port it over to uh, AMD uh, 
base systems, GPUs and CPUs. Uh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. It's just like, huh? Because Nvidia people get big, way better, you know, resolve. Of course they will. They have, you know, 1080s and 70s and TIs and Titans and XPs and all that. Of course Nvidia won't do that. But if it's a fully optimized Nvidia game, and uh, not AMD, Nvidia. It's a fully made NVIDIA GPU CPU game ported to a AMD uh, system. I feel like it should. Um, AMD do got they 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 ain't they're doing something. They Vega, they Vega uh, lineup is gonna look good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it will rival the Titan XPs. Like I said they have to they have to come with more uh, flops, teraflops. The, the Titan XP in order to make them run for it. it's money coming cheaper. Um, uh, what else? That's the only thing I really want to say. Oh, another thing with the whole Mark Cerny saying like uh, games running at 16 bit half flutes precision, uh, it's possible. Like games like I want to say games like Ashes of Singularity, you know how Ashes of Singularity people are raving about Ashes of Singularity. Um, Ashes of Singularity, I feel like runs at 16-bit floats because it's a real, it's a RTS. RTS don't really, really is not really that much hidden. I feel like maybe like any game that's kind of like isometric can run a. Well, most games are like isometric, but like locked, locked camera, pretty much. Look, it's like maybe zoom in and out a little bit. I'm not sure, but like RTS is. You can make games using 16-bit uh, precision uh, RTS games. I feel like that's what uh, Ashes of Singularity does to get all that stuff on one screen with good, kind of good performance. But they, you know, they probably want it a lot, a lot. They really, you know, what I'm saying so. Um, uh, far as gaming stuff goes, I did still want to get my PC. I still need to get a PS4 Pro. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get an eight terabyte external hard drive because there really is no point. It honestly is no point to buying a, a internal hard drive. It really isn't. It's really not. You can run both. You can have both at the same time as well, which is freaking epic. You can basically have a ten terab, a twelve terab. Well, well, I don't wait. Does the internal hard drive support eight terabytes, or is it like four? Or is it four to maximum or two to maximum? I'm not sure. But I know the PS4 supports up to eight external, so you really can have like ten terabyte system. So uh, you can run both. You can have both at the running at the same time. Meaning, I can move all my games to the external. People already knew this already, but you can move all your games, save full games, uh, saves. You know, the install and all that stuff to the external hard drive, and just have your save data be on the PS4 itself so I was just thinking well PS4 is not going to PS4 is going to be around to freaking 2023 2022 why not get an 8TB hard drive and just buy all these PS4 games why not you know what I'm saying I ain't got to delete them they'll sit there I might not play all of them every day I might play for like 30 minutes or an hour depending on how I feel but an 8TB hard drive ain't really overkill because I mean, yeah, you can get an SSD, but SSDs are for more money, especially more terabytes. Um, yeah. So you can get uh, the Seagate, Seagate uh, Game Hub. You can get it like two, four, six, and eight terabyte models, and it has US two US uh, three. I mean, two USB three point on the front of it. So pretty much, it will take up a USB. But give you an extra one back. So basically, had you had three of them to use, you can use your headset or charge a controller, which is freaking epic. They, they uh, Seagate had an Xbox One branded model, which is kind of stupid. They why they didn't do a uh, PlayStation like that? Cause they announced, I don't know if it was that like, announced at E3 or something like that. It was announced some way back when, a couple maybe like January or March or something like that. All right, time. In the last couple of months, they announced it. Um, but I said that's that's good. Eight terabytes is, is not bad. Um, my only, uh, I'm jumping around and get into the game, show y'all some gameplay. But I just need a vent. You know, I ain't vent to y'all in a minute. 
my guess, people are thinking, oh, the PS, people are thinking, oh, the PS5 will come out next year. Like, are y'all, are y'all, are y'all fucking serious? The PS4 ain't been out for four years. Y'all talking about the PS5 already? Like, sure, we can talk about it, speculate, but not no fucking early as no fucking 2018. People speculate, like, oh, there's gonna be a PS5 Pro. Why the fuck would there be a PS5 Pro in a PS5? What the fuck is the point? You're gonna have a PS5. The bitch is already gonna be 4K. This is the PS4 Pro is the test 4K for the future. We know what we gotta do to achieve true 4K 60 frames a second in the future. Why would you? Why would you throw all that around now? It's too much. Cause that means nobody's gonna buy fucking Slims no more. Ain't no point of buying a fucking Slim. There'll be no point of buying a Slim. You can just buy a regular. We could buy. I think we better point of buying a regular PS4. We're doing discontinue those. That's we have four fucking consoles running the same operating system, same network. You won't do that. It's pointless. They will never do that. He's like, oh, Xbox One has all this GPU power. Like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, yes, I'm a Sony pony. I get it, but. You gotta understand this. Just because you have more GPU don't mean your game can run 4K at a steady frame rate because most games use CPU for frame rate. So it don't matter if you have six terabytes, not six teraflops. It don't it don't matter if you don't have if you can't have frame rate. You know what I'm saying? If you don't got frame rate, it don't matter. 12 gigabytes of, of RAM, GDR5 RAM. That's not helpful, really, because pretty much the freaking nvidia titan xp is eight so it's like you really don't was well, it eight or well, it might be 12. it one of them this might be one of them for the 1080 1080 they're, they're like eight gigabytes of gdr5 it's like you really don't need 12. uh I mean, yeah textures and all that shit might load faster it don't really make them sharper you might have better draw distances uh per se but it doesn't really make anything helpful just because you, you know what I'm saying? PS4 does native 4K. Not no upscale. It does upscale native and checkerboard. You know, it upscales 1080. Well, not really. People, well, I'm kind of in a way upscales 1080 to fit 4K K screen, but it's still 1080. Still 1080p. Uh, 1440 gets upscaled. But it's not like it's not 1080 upscale. It's just a 1440 upscale. It's not bad upscaling. I mean, every game does that. If you have a freaking 4K monitor and you're playing your game only at 1080, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of people do that. A lot of freaking YouTubers do that. A lot of Twitch streamers do that. They got 4K monitors, or they might have 1080. They might have 4K monitors, but they only game they only playing at 1080. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they only playing at 1080p. Or they playing at 1440, you don't really need to have that, but yeah. Uh, another thing Xbox has, it, it's try to be the all-in-one console, that's why they came up with the name Xbox One. They have a freaking IR blaster. IR blasters, you rarely, that's remote, you know what I'm saying? That's for, for VCR, that's why I said, it's just like, it's a point, it's a, point, it's a, it's a waste of money. They could have did away with the uh, IR blaster, because you don't really need it, technically. Um, Blu-ray discs still only hold 100 gigabytes, so technically in the future, they will have to make some more, uh, in, in the future, if you want to do four, true 4K gaming, like, natural, if you have the power and the money and the resources, you will have 4K, well, like this Xbox One has 4K Blu-ray hard drive, uh, disc drive, but I don't know if they disc or 4K Blu-ray. Cause I be kind of, it's kind of redundant. It's like, why well, have a 4K Blu-ray drive, but your discs aren't 4K Blu-ray? I don't, I don't, I don't think they disc are. So that's like, it's like, that's pointless. It's like, I mean, for I think, uh, four regular Blu-ray disc can play video, video playback up to uh, 4K 60 frames per second. I don't know if it can do games that way. I heard it says something only can do 1080 60. The max 60 hertz is the max, regardless. So we can't really increase frame rate because Blu-ray discs only stop at 60 frames a second. Now the only way we can actually have, I'm jumping all over the place. The only way we can actually have frame rates higher than 60 frames per second, it, no, 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 nope, it wasn't gonna work because the output 
the uh, the, P the PS4 only can do only can uh, handle 60 frames per second. That's what the uh, HDMI does. It only does 60 frames per second. It only does 60 frames per second. That's only one of the outputs. Only outputs at 60. So pretty much having a TV with a 144 hertz monitor, it don't make a difference, really. You're not getting you're not, you're not getting better free rate. You can still get 60 frames per second. It'll just clock it at 60, 60 hertz. Um, but yeah, that's like that's another thing that's just weird. It's just like Xbox has that. Uh, they got all these HDMI in and out ports. It's like you don't need that. Like I said, games. Some games are GPU heavy, and they can handle 4K. Some are CPU heavy. Uh, some are a mixture of both. That's why you see most see games don't really run 60 frames per second. Um, yeah, but I said like sports titles. Sports titles don't really take up that much graphical memory, nor do racing games. People like I hate people like, oh, did you see how Forza looked on PS on the Xbox One X, dude? I'm like, uh, it's a racing game. You can hit 1080 60 easily. You can hit 4K 60 easily on racing games. It don't take up that much. It really doesn't. I don't know if because it's a simulator or like how how it is. Like with Madden, like all sports titles are gonna run 4K 60 frames a second. NHL, MLB, Madden, 2K, FIFA. All of those games are 4K 60 frames per second easily. And you don't hear about EA or EA 2K or you know you don't hear about them. Oh, we don't have enough power to do it. They can do it easily. It's not that much on a screen being rendered. It's just literally back and forth on one loaded area. So it's like it's easy to do. Oh, trust me, it's easy to hit 60 frames a second on sports power. It's like racing. Racing is not really that much a lot. You know, it's just not a lot. Of, a lot of information being on the screen. Uh, so it's like it's easy to do 1080, uh, 1080, 60, and 4K 60. Uh, there's a lot of 1440 titles, 1440p. Now, what's that's now the thing is, the PS4 can do 1440p, 60 frames a second. I don't know why developers don't want to go for that 1440p. Uh, honestly, I would. If my game can have a slightly graphical boost. You don't even have to hit 4K. If I can get 4K 6, 1440, 60, that's that's good enough. Um, that's real good. Now there's you know the upscaling, temporal upscaling, um, checkerboard rendering. It, it's not bad per se, the natural 4K, native 4K, but it's just like it's good, but it's not. It's noticeable if you, you know, magnify it. Like you're for freaking digital foundry, but at the same time, you're not going to notice that on a smaller monitor, smaller TV screen, or a 32 inch TV. You're not going to really notice that uh, until you get to the bigger, bigger screen, 40s and 50s, and all that, 60s and all that. It's like you won't notice it then. But other than that, yeah, it's just like all those Xbox people, Xbox people, like. Oh man, we announced all these 4K titles. That's gonna be for you know 4K out the box. It's like, huh? Oh stupid! Y'all getting 18, 18, 1800p checkerboard like us? They're getting 1440 like us. All games won't natively bump to 1080. I don't think it could. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if they would need a patch, but y'all need Xbox One X needs patches to hit 4K. It doesn't natively do it off the disc because the Xbox, regular Xbox, does it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know. That's how you know. Matter of fact, that's how you know. That's right. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think Xbox uses 4K disc. They don't use 4K 4K Blu-ray disc, but it has a 4K Blu-ray drive. Because I think I think 4K Blu-ray drives are backwards compatible. If they aren't, then it's a 4K. It's if they they have 4K Blu-ray discs, but still, it doesn't it doesn't make a difference. The, X, the Xbox One S doesn't look fucking better than a uh, a regular PS4 game. They're not, you know what I'm saying? They can't. It's not optimized. You know what I'm saying? It's just like they don't have better frame rates. It's the same shit. But yeah, let me get on to this game. 
But yeah, it's like they don't they don't do nothing crazy. They said that like I said the dude said he was gonna max this game out. Like I said, it's not really heavy it's not hard graphics like Paragon is, but it's close to it. It's still a cartoon style. It's not fake it's not it's pseudo realistic. I said, see, look, like, look at this. It's pseudo realistic. You know what I'm saying? Helion, you have Kitsune. She's like a pirate, kind of. Oh, break. You know, they got diversities, Asians. Got these little swords. Like an Asian pirate. Uh, oh, yeah, she has these little. Oh, not her. Kronos is tight, but Titan Kronos is like a tank. Oh, yeah, it's like two different eyes, or is that like a, a visual? No, that was a visual thing. That's like little locks. Launcher and shit. Bombshell. Same thing, pretty much is like a tank for the law. If Axles, Katoro, Kintaro. He's the so no 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 he's the yeah he's the, I think he has the assault rifle and a launcher or something like that. She has like a Gatling gun, so does she. Uh I'm glad they didn't uh mix it up. Well no, they kinda did. Just with them. Yeah, they only did it with the medic the battle medics. And Kronos too. Uh, what was this? Ab Abaddon. Like, little futuristic shit. Low gravity. So, my thing is, the game will, the game won't really have that many new characters. Because of the low gravity, you have to base their, their abilities off of low gravity. Which is weird. I said they shouldn't do that. Which, which kind of sucks. They got to base everything off of low gravity. They should just, like, do it like Paragon. Just have weird shit. Have people have fire. Have people have ice. Have people have... You know, some people that have control at some type of element. He's a healer. I guess he has like a shotgun. Well, a, a pistol. Uh, false. Same thing. It look like something out of Warframe. If you ever look at Warframe. Now tell me this don't look like the dude out of Warframe. Uh, the, the, um, I forgot the name. So many damn people. Uh, Aegis. It's like freaking Cappy. Transformer shit. I think this is yeah. This is a tank as well. Get the armor on. I wish they had the abilities next to it. You can see with uh, shit. Yeah, balls, exotic, and superior, advanced and base. Primary weapon sticker. So this is all the superior shit. That shit's cool. Urban digital and. Skins, like I said, oh, that's the skin I just did. Oh, uh, you have Nosh, this is Tank as well. Yeah, it's like they're they're basically the same. They have this heavy assault rifle. Uh, battle medic. Did I just do battle medic? No, I didn't. The other ones heal. I said, these these look like Decker. No, she looks like Decker. One of these paper, not Decker. Um, what's the gadget? Okay, she looks like Gadget from Paragon. If you look at Gadget from Paragon, it kind of looks like this, in a sense. But smaller. Um, Like I said, this been announced like two years ago. This was announced 2015, I, I want to say. Or 2014, this was announced. It first, first was announced. I don't... Yeah, so like... Yeah, it's, it's like... More Asian guys. That's yeah, just cool. I guess they can fix the texture of the hair. I said, if this had a single player, if this wasn't uh, multiplayer only and it had a single player based off of the first, first trailer, yo, I'm telling you, this would have been a shit. More Asian characters. You, got two, you have, what, three Asian characters? Yeah, three Asian characters. That's not bad. Well, yeah, I guess... I guess you can say she's like black or whatever. She's black, he's black. Oh no, there's four Asian characters. There's four Asian characters. Let's 
ethnicity. I'm going to be to say white. Uh, you know my ethnicity, not broad into, broad into like German or whatever. Do you have Deadlock? Deadlock might be, he could be Asian. Deadlock, look, he looks cool though. Deadlock looks pretty cool. I see, I don't really like all that colorful, colorful stuff. Just give me something basic. Like, see, he has a knife and a machine pistol. It's like, oh, that sucks. I can't, he could have gave me at least dual. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, oh, okay. So his eight hundred dollar, eight hundred one is worth four hundred, uh, eight hundred points. That's 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 not bad. I'll rock that. I'll definitely rock that. Uh, this is camos. Aztec look pretty cool. Yeah, that looks really cool, actually. I feel like what what killed this maybe like two three years ago was CS:GO with all these camos. A lot of games didn't really have camos. They didn't really, I mean, Call of Duty always had their little slow ones. And I started doing like crates because of CS:GO. I didn't, you know, what I'm saying you never really noticed nothing until CS:GO really took off and blew up with all these camos and people getting in trouble for it, hosting like websites that uh, was like auction off or use it to get. Uh, shit. It's just like, I mean, these don't look bad. Phil Gore. Uh, yeah, the Aztec looks pretty cool. I'll probably get that with the other shit. Okay, this gun is called Sector and Wasp. Primary weapon sticker. Where is it at? It was right there. Uh, boots. They're so. Can I like? They're sixty-four. What the hell? Sixty-four freaking stickers. That's ridiculous. They're not like super high, but damn. Forcer. Da, 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 da. And we'll hold. You can't even see them really. Is that like a lightning bolt? It's like I'll get that lightning bolt shit. Yeah, I'll get that lightning bolt with like yeah, I'll get the I'll get the lightning bolt. I don't know if it unlocks for both characters though. Huh. You have kick decals, which is like that. It's like a mesh, a flat mesh. Uh you have Helix. Which he I don't know if he has like another Okay, he has like he likes freaking sector and shit. He looks like sector. It's pretty, pretty. Oh um, my! Like, uh. See, the only thing about this, this feels thicker. Like the armor is thicker, so it makes him his legs look fat as hell. I don't know if that increases hit detection. Hopefully, it doesn't. Blood and crime. What? Where? Oh, that looks cool. Okay, I guess I guess camos unlock. Yeah, I guess they are for every character. Incognito off the wall horse. Oh, each character has their own kick decal. Each character has their own kick decal. But as far as stickers goes. They everybody has the same and different uh different primary weapon color I'm guessing. Yeah. Bloody laser. Hey, why does it feel like he had more? Three or six. Oh, so he doesn't have chance yeah. Primary weapon sticker, secondary weapon sticker. Oh, he has a secondary. Wait, wait, wait. Why well, I feel like it's more? Okay, yeah, I can't. Get, well, oh, oh, it, it, it is separate because you can switch. You can switch between weapons. He can switch between weapons. His weapon is always out. His weapons are always out. He has this and something else. I don't think he just has the one. Oh, he has a knife too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's like. Yeah, it's like that. Um. Uh, he has two weapons as well. Alpha and Omega. 
but I count as one. I count as one. She has two different weapons, which is this and the arc blades, which you can see here. Uh, Kronos has this, but this has a secondary. Looks sick. Look like look like a, one of them creatures off a of, uh, stormship trooper, like their mouths. Oh, I've been at this for like, I don't even know how many, how long I've been streaming, but yeah, this is their thingy, and this is their backup, my Clementine, <laughs> not bad though, like I said, graphics wise, I'm not even on on PC, but it looks amazing though, like I said, just to be on regular PS4, some little blurriness here and there, but not you know, like a racially profile and there's two blacks like five asians one two three four i think he's five i guess you can say no nah, no nah, i don't think he is it's like four asians two robots two robots four asians two blacks and the rest are white so four robots well two robots four asians two robots well like I said, standing over. Two robots, four Asians, two blacks. That's uh eight. And there's eight white people. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I just consider him white to be. Yeah. I said this would be crazy if it had a story mode. So you have the Ray. I think that's, that's Ray for the other person. You have stash drops. Um, that's pretty much it. It's like. This. Now hopefully this game doesn't have fucking bots. That would suck ass. Right now, I want 15 kills, 17 deaths. Not bad. Not bad. Time play 13 minutes. Match history, I won. All the people right there. Uh oh, I can change this portrait customization. Oh, I can't change nothing. I don't have nothing unlocked. Does it allow? It doesn't even allow you to see. A wraith. That seems like a lot of crap to do. Uh, I have my field of view really far up, far out. Just because I don't know, it feels weird. It's this game is weird. I don't have controller rumble for some reason. Hit impact switch. What is this? I never know what that actually is. Hit sound one. So hit impact switch and uh, controller aim stuff. Right. Call for help. Blind fire. Oh, you click R3 in a blind fire. I think, yeah, show help. The D pads don't even do nothing. You have your ult alternate weapon. The old, uh, it's, it's simple. Yeah. I do want to change my, my ultimate bumper jumper. I don't change nothing. Why ain't change nothing? Oh, it did. You got to Oh, there you go. Tactical. It doesn't. Tactical and bumper jumper doesn't change nothing. Man, you're better off just. I don't really see the difference between bumper jumper and.
Yeah, I don't. I don't see nothing. Make sure I'm still in the right control. Yeah. All right, let's get into gameplay. I said, do they have a TDM mode? Turf War Blitz Uplink. Uh, uh. Uh, that's like five maps. Uh oh, I didn't want to actually do that. Oh, you have to hold. You have to hold square to. At first, I didn't know how to leave a freaking lobby. Well, leave it when it's loading like that. Um. Something else. You know, something else that I was looking at. Controller aim. Controller aim. Hit point style. Hit pip style. And something else. That was something else I was looking at. Controller aim. Hit pip style. I guess that's it. Alright, now we can get one. Oh, uh, there we go. I don't think there's game chat yet. It better be game chat, though. The, the, what I was about to look up. Controller aim style, okay. Uplink, right? Yep, uplink. Prepare for combat. Five, four, three, two, one. Take the uplink to your base and download data to win. Uplink initializing. Oh shit. Oh crap. That's the only thing. I don't know what the damage. See, that's the only thing about that. I don't know how much damage each thing outputs. I ain't even checking the numbers either. It might be 25 per bullet. I could be wrong. I said all this multiple jumping is good, but. Oh, it's me. Teammates. Oh, it's switch right up and go. All the way. Enemy uplink is at twenty-five percent. I mean, the health bar. It's I don't know. The HUD feels weird. Oh, I can like detonate it, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. So yeah, everybody does around like twenty-five damage. Uh, let me see what everybody's rocking with. Gunslinger, Juggernaut, Wraith, Enforcer, Enforcer. See, that's the only thing about that. They should make, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm so used to having Call of Duty where everybody looks different. Oh, not really. Uplink stolen. Enemy uplink connected. Enemy yeah. Uplink is at 50%. We're actually losing. Enemy uplink 
Let's go. Ah, oh, fuck you. Damn it. So let me put it in all audio. Uh, all audio. Oh, does that make a difference? Hold on. Enemy. Uh, that doesn't really make a difference, honestly. Not about it. So it does support the name mics. I thought it didn't. Yep. No, I can't hear shit. But not for what? Two days? I don't even know. I honestly didn't even know I had that beta until I just checked my email. I said race can be good. I said it's just that machine pistol, uh, throw dart, throw a knife bomb. It's okay, but at the same time, it can be inaccurate. Oh, look at that bullshit that just happened to me. Oh, look at that bullshit. How the hell? You got 50 health, 24 health. Kidding me? So, oh, that's, I'm just so used to aiming down sight. I never really was a hit fire in any shooter. I, I hate it. Don't ever get me to try to hit fire because I don't like it. I like I like aiming down sight because it just zooms in and it makes it feel more natural to actually shoot somebody. Wait, can you actually go up here? Oh, it's out of balance though. I don't I don't know the level design in this map is good. It's just. Oh crap, I don't even know where I was going. So one thing I like about this is just the map design. I'm not even sure where the hell to go. I said I said I'm good at you know, we want it competitive, you not know where people at. But I just I don't know, I like I'm so used to having maps. You know, seeing where Oh fuck. I said, where are my teammates at? I'm gonna kill left and fucking right. Four and six. I have 44 or 40 ping though, so that's not bad. I have 40 ping. But it's just, I don't know. I thought they just need somebody with a submachine gun. Enemy scored. The assault rifle ain't really my, my stilo. Ah, uh, so how the fuck? The way who's shooting at me? Oh my! How the fuck do you move fast in the air? Can't. Oh, I should have used my 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 slide. But that's the only thing. This is weird about this shit. It's like, the, yeah, the anti like gravity is good and cool and shit, but it's just you can't really. Pick which direction you want to really move, and I feel like it, this gameplay is too fast for what it, what it wanted to do. Like that's what I'm that's what I'm getting. Like this game, the gameplay is too fast for what the developers trying to do. Alright, so I honestly, pretty much, people, I say people don't think they're good. They're gonna be good. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like. You will see a lot of people overshooting and shit, trying to get the shit, you know, down. I said they, you know, ain't no auto aim. I mean, you don't really need it. I don't need it, man. It has aim assist and shit, but you bar you barely notice aim assist, honestly. To keep it real, shit's at a hundred. I barely even notice it on. It's naturally at 
default at 100. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's a damn thing. It doesn't do anything to me, actually. Actually, changing any of the settings don't feel like you're doing anything. What the f I don't even know who was fucking shooting at. See, that's the only thing about this. Like, the map size is too... It's too complex. It's the, I said, it's too complex. It's too much cramming in one area so you really can't control where you really want to go or see anybody like i said th this really does need aiming down sight more like i said they, they come out with a submachine guy they come out with somebody with a submachine gun i definitely 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 will play with that person Yeah, we fucking lost. God damn. So this shit is kind of, You gotta have people that's really good at this shit in order to win. I was getting murked. Five and ten. I wasn't... Can't ain't shit you can do. Um, If your team ain't doing shit. Honestly. I try to do shit, but man, that shit ain't even help me out. I said, it's, uh, I said, I don't know if people are just streaming it or. Alright, what, what did I get? What did I get? I got an anvil. Uh, not enough players in the lobby. Both to stay leaving lobby. Oh, uh, crap. The current lobby is in it. Find another map. Weapon sticker, Nash, uh, use any of those people so it's really redundant so I, it's, I'm, it's okay to have like loot crates and box openings and shit but i feel i personally feel like it's it's hard to navigate midair that's just me personally it's hard to navigate midair I can't shoot behind me. What's my shoot? Wait, I shoot behind me by pressing what? L? It's not R3. Wait, what is it? Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna charge. Like I said, the maps are so super, super small. It's like it's it's not really level design. I was like with Paragon. I hope Paragon has really good ass maps. Did anybody see that? That was awesome. I need to get some fucking health. I said Paragon. I hope Paragon has some really good ass maps. Fucking hell, man. God damn. I said, I feel like the everybody is out putting 20 damage. There's not really no advantage you can really get. Ain't nothing you can really do to buff your person damage or anything. That's another thing they probably could add. People that can buff other people. Uh... Charging the 
Fuck you, dude. But yeah, so this is not a bad game. It's really not. Um, you know it's weird looking on the PlayStation Store and seeing that that's a lot of games on there. Oh fuck! I almost killed you. That PlayStation Store has a lot of uh, free-to-play games in other countries that we don't got. Um. Probably gonna end at 3:30 ish. You know, I ain't even streaming that long. Mainly venting, talking about the characters, level to run. I said it's not bad. It's not a badass game. It's not. I just feel like the HUD is a little bit weird. Uh, there's nothing really in the right portion of the screen. So it's kind of weird. I wish the, the the you know the KDR might have been like bottom right or something or. You know, so I wish like the hut, like the the uh, a kill feed was like bottom right or something, top right map maybe map may have me maybe have the map in the the uh. Fuck you, dude. Uh, maybe had a map like top right, bottom right or something. Cause I feel like it's too much real estate on the right of the screen. You got your icons on the right, on the left, the health in the middle. Scoring at the top, the teams being displayed, the the teams and which which who and who each person are scoreboard and whoever each person is at the top of the screen. Not bad, but it's just said it's just too much real estate on the right of the screen. It feels it's just too blank. You know what I'm saying? It's too it's too blank like that. Fuck, dude. I said a lot of people are playing this. They got the hang of this shit. I said the controls, they still feel wonky to me. If to be that a game that comes out in one month, and this is in beta, they gotta they gotta increase the graphics. I wanna they're talking about doing 4K 60. Uh, Enemy scored. I hope the I hope the, he was right. I hope Dave Linsky was right. I said it, it's okay. The little zero gravity thing, gimmicky. Yes, but god damn, the wasp was a. I did 125 damage? Did it do 105? Wait, oh, the, wait, I don't know how much that shit did. I said, I really don't know the, the damage output for each person. You can't even be fucking accurate. It's hard to be accurate as hell. You have to play. You have to play with a uh, low uh, FOV with Wraith. You have to. Playing far away feels weird. I don't say it feels. It's not weird per se. Ah oh, shit. What the hell? That's hard. I might. I'm gonna lower my FOV. I had it max just because it. It's. It's. You know what I'm saying. This at least zooms it. I feel slower when they change the FOV. I don't. Holy crap, 70 is too much. 70 is like a zoom fucking. Hold on, hold on. They, they messed this up. The whole, that whole FOV system needs to change. 70 is way, way too much. It feels like the camera is like zoom. It's zoomed in, but it's like it feels like it's too zoomed in. I feel like it's just like trolleying with you, not actually you. Enemy scored. You lose. Sheesh, match that match was fast as fuck. Damn, that match was fast.
Yeah, they need to add way, way much more stuff in this to actually make it a good game. But like I said, not bad. Not bad overall. It's really not a bad game. It's just... I don't know. It's just too much shit that needs to be put into it. Like I said, I still want somebody with a submachine gun and like a dark matter oat or something. Oh, I got a Titan. Uh, I don't care about freaking weapon stickers. It's not really my forte. Um...